started all with this um, this story of Kuula, and he was he's the one credited for creating the first fish pond. Um, and his story is a very long story, and, and, and I suggest people go, go research him. Um, but basically, he had the innate ability to utilize the pohaku to go into the ocean and chant fish to him. And so, he had this remarkable ability whenever a community needed fish, and, 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 or whenever a community was starving, he would help by going into the water with his pohaku and chanting out to the ocean to bring fish towards him and feed the community. Um, and that's what exactly what fish ponds do. That's exactly what Lokoia do. Is that they um, provide ha provide the ability for fish to come to the community in order to to feed them when they're hungry. The most common fish for most Lokoia is going to be the ama ama, the nugal cephalus, which is the Hawaiian striped mullet. Um, yeah, it's, and and be the reason for that is because they. It's not only one of the most prized fish in Hawaii, uh, but it's also in these types of environments they really thrive and they, they can grow very fast in these types of environments because all of the food that they require grows so effectively, efficiently over here. Um, so that's why Amawa is the primary species. Other fish is uh, the moi or the, um, the aholehole, the white flag tail, um, is other most common fish in brackish water environments. For us here, we also get a lot of uh, reef type fish, so a lot of sturgeon fish, uhus, parrot fish.